Everybody loves getting an envelope. Got a letter here from viewer Owen. Well, I suppose as you get a little older, envelopes aren't the most exciting things to be receiving in the mail, when especially most of the time, the envelopes usually contain bills. This time around, though, I was presently pleasantly surprised to go to my local mailbox and find inside a letter from, like I said, viewer Owen. We're going to go ahead and open this out, check out the contents. I can't help but notice on the side he's written, please handle with care. So there's something of value in here, certainly to Owen. Um, as you can certainly see, there's the address on the front. If you guys would like to send anything my way, no, no, that's not actually my house address, but this is the address where you guys can send letters, poems. If you've perhaps drawn a picture you'd like to share, you can send it to the review spot care of the UPS store, 6975 Meadowvale Town Center Circle, Mississauga, Ontario, Ontario. That's not actually how it's spelled, but Canada, L5N2, Victor 7. Can't help but also notice that he sent this from Kansas City. Some really interesting looking, I guess those are bull uh, stamps at the top corner. It says Lunar New Year. I used to do, back in the day, I was a big collecting of stamps. Anytime I got a new envelope that had an interesting stamp that I hadn't recognized before, I usually took it off. I know some people that in the expert field of stamp collecting would probably tell you to steam those bad boys to carefully peel them off the envelope. But most of the time, I usually just either cut it off or rip it off. And then half the time, I usually ripped the stamp in half. Oh, fiddlesticks. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and open up this envelope, like I said, that came to us from viewer Owen. Um, I'm going to just very carefully on the back, open up the side, just enough that I can get access to whatever he took the time to send my way. And again, if you guys would like to send anything my way, whoops, let's not rip that off completely. Anyways, at least I think everything else is still intact inside. We, do get it. we did get ourselves a letter, still intact, and it looks like we've also got something else going on inside. I'm going to leave that for the time being, because I'm curious to first check out the letter, and then we'll see the surprise that Owen's put inside for me. Dear Spots, my name is Owen Pike. I am an 18-year-old graduate from a small town in Missouri. I've been a big fan of yours for quite a while. My brother Michael and I would watch your videos. Oh, hello. Hi, Michael. Brother of Owen how are you today? Thank you very much for watching my videos. Not only to get an idea of what would be a nice piece to our collection, but also we find you very entertaining. And to show our gratitude, we've included a pure bead venom. Interesting. Thank you for providing the content you do, and thank you for being a breath of fresh air from your traditional comic book guy. Worst episode ever. Keep up the great work and keep being you. Your fans, Owen and Michael Pike. Thank you very much. Like with all the other things that I received from you, the viewing audience, I hold on to this and I keep this in a scrapbook. Something that I can cherish and remember the years past after I've stopped doing this, which probably isn't going to be anytime soon. So I'm going to put that letter right there. Thank you very much, Owen. That's very nice of you. And now I'm curious to be checking out this bead venom. Carefully, carefully, carefully pulling it out. Oh, look at that. Now, of course, it's all been comprised of beads. Owen and possibly his brother, Michael, stepped in to help out as well. Took the time, put all these beads together, and made himself, made me a nice looking venom. Which I guess probably would go that way, right? That's the most finished side. And then that would be the side that shows all the little holes and stuff on the bottom of the backs of the beads. You know, looking at this Venom, it reminds me of the Venom from the Spider-Man cartoon from the 90s. I don't know if that's perhaps where you drew the inspiration from, but that is a fine, fine-looking Venom. I've always really been entertained by the idea of making these bead artworks. Maybe, perhaps, if Owen can drop me a line, maybe him and his brother Michael can show me actually how they've done this, I think that would be fun, especially kind of taking the same shape and maybe making a few Jason Voorhees masks. I could see myself picking up a hobby in the near, immediate near future. Again, a big thank you to Owen and brother Michael, who took the time, sent me a very nice letter that I will cherish for years and years to come, and also sent me a very nice looking Venom that I'm going to be putting on display. I wonder how I'm going to do this. I can't really sit it. Maybe I could sit it just on my shelf upstairs in my office, because I definitely want to put this on display. I love the fact they even put the little darker colors at the bottoms of his eyes. Very fine work looking, Owen. Very fine work as well. Michael, if you took the time and you helped your brother Owen to put this together for me. 
Thank you very much, guys. Again, if you guys would like to send anything my way, covering up what was the left of his address, I sadly ripped in the top corner. Again, you can take the time and send it over to my way at the review spot, care of the UPS store, 6975 Meadowville Town Center Circle, Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, L5N2 Victor 7. No, you don't have to write this on your arm. No, you don't have to write this on the neighbor's dog. The information is always provided down below in the video description as well. So if you guys ever need that information, again, if you'd like to send anything my way, you'll always find it just below a video. Lots of stuff coming your way, guys. If you are new to this channel and enjoying all the content you're seeing, dig the fact that both Owen and Michael spent some good quality time, I think, as brothers and siblings to come together and make a craft project for this humbled reviewer. But make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, turn the bell notification on, and yes, 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 come back to this channel regularly because there's always new content popping up. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.